Trini Girl Natural. Hi everyone, so just a quick note about shampoo bars. They generally have a high pH and are not considered pH balanced. So this one has a pH of 8, which is pretty good for a shampoo bar. They tend to get as high as even 9 or 10. But pH balanced in terms of hair products tend to be 7 or below. So the benefit that you see using higher pH products is that they may let more moisture in in the short term. But the negative is that they can be harsher in the hair and harsher in the cuticle and cause cuticle damage, high porosity and breakage in the long run. So if you do have to use shampoo bars, I definitely recommend keeping it to a pH of 8 or below and getting pH strips. But if you use shampoos, they generally have a pH of 7 or below, which is closer to pH balance. Of course, you should test all your products, not just shampoo bars. But just coming on to let you know, if you're using a shampoo bar and they're telling you it's pH balance, they're most likely lying to you. And also just telling you a bit more about pH and shampoo bars and <laughs> everything else, I guess, because I keep my pH strips handy. I may actually even try it once just to see what the impact is, and I'll probably do a follow-up video on that if I do try it. So it's not like I wouldn't try it, but if shampoos work for me, I would stick to shampoos personally. And I also have a conditioner bar, which is even crazier from another company, so I'll definitely be testing that one when I finally dig it out to use it and let you guys know as well. So stay tuned. Hair care, product reviews, science, everything mixed in. Thanks for watching. Bye.